we're gonna be setting a trot line tonight. I think our main goal um, setting this trout line is just to catch a big fish. We've set quite a few trout lines just growing up and never really gotten a big, like specifically flathead. This creek is a tributary of Truman Lake. So one cool thing about setting the lines is we know that these fish have traveled from a long ways to get here. One thing that we have to always overcome when we come out here to set these lines is just getting the kayak from the back of the truck all the way down this grassy, rocky slope and then down here into the creek. Anyway, one big one would make it worth it. That's what we're going for. And we're gonna get to work real quick before these bugs get after us. All right, we found our first log right here. It's a pretty sturdy log. We're gonna put a uh, rubber bicycle tube on there. It's kind of the same idea as a fishing pole, you know, it flexes, get it nice and tight. Then I'm gonna take this extra tail and I'll wrap it around the log. So worst case scenario, this rubber breaks and we're still connected to the tree. <laughs> and I'm gonna sit here and fight the bugs. This isn't the type of thing you take your girlfriend on or your wife. It goes nothing. All right, if you guys can see the fish or not, but there's 54 of them in there. We're gonna put two on one hook on some of them. As you can see, they're kind of small. Like those ones are pretty small. So I was always, for some reason growing up, I was always the designated um, perch hooker. And I think that's just because no one else wanted to get drilled by the bugs. <laughs> so I got pretty good at this. Got new hooks. Um, these are size sevens circle hooks would actually be handy yeah here let me show them with the fish hanging up so you can kind of see you can see the fish hanging every so often there in the morning it'll be exciting you'll see the the limbs out here shaking as you're coming down the river and you just never quite know what's going to be on the end of the line so we will catch up with you in the morning we're gonna try and get some sleep tonight all right, Sherman and I just got back out here to the river. Anticipation is building. I'm telling what's on there. You feeling lucky this morning? I don't know. I'm excited. I hope we catch something. As you can see the inner tube moving right there just a little bit and it's going to go straight across all the way to that next log over there see the teeth on those things but they aren't friendly man this is wild so that's already fish number four we actually set a trot line on this same exact tree in the same spot last week, like four days ago, and caught like nine on this same spot. Another one. Sherman's gonna get this untied. We'll wind this um, trot line back up onto one of the pool noodles. Then we'll go back down river and we have one more to to pull. So see our 
tube right tube right there it's getting pulled pretty good by something another little guy that's a decent fish Oh yeah, it's not a bad blue. Gotta be a bigger one than that under there, isn't there? Yes! Is that a, that a, good fish. He's a real blue blue. That's all she wrote. Not bad. Yeah. It's quite a few fish, dude. That's <laughs> That's really not bad at all. Biggest one of the year. Eight or ten pounds probably. Alright, so we caught ten fish. Biggest flathead was eight pounds ish. Pretty good size, but we're probably going to come back here in a week or so and try it again. Keep checking back in with us. We're hoping to catch something a little bigger and uh, probably going to have some more fishing videos this summer. And we're going to try to keep the content coming. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.